starting in just a few minutes here, they're gonna start lowering the revolving frame down onto the tub. Right there, Jared is getting a shot of a, um, the collar that's gonna keep the revolving frame onto a pin. Like this is the only thing that'll be on top of that when it's all set. That's one half. The other half is over there. Right there you can see daylight between the revolving frame and the tub. Um, the goal of today is to make it so there's no more daylight coming through. It'll be lowered 40 inches. The revolving frame, the top part, will be lowered 40 inches down and it should take about eight hours. Um, Steve and Jared are up in there right now getting some shots of the guys cleaning the rollers because well, obviously once it's lowered they won't be able to clean them anymore. So describe where this is from and what it's going to be used for. These are uh, punching from steel manufacturers. They're basically a galvanized punching that came out of electrical boxes, like 4 by 4 boxes. And all the holes in those 4 by 4 boxes are these little punchings. And the uh, punchings are poured into the back of the drag line to counterbalance the weight of the boom in the bucket when it's filled. Ian says each barrel holds 2,000 pounds, so a ton worth of ballast. And they have 500 barrels on site. And so basically they have a million pounds of ballast ready to go into the drag line, whatever it is. I could be mistaken, but I think they're starting. It's about 11.30 central time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Stay tuned. So something was happening earlier. It raised up a quarter of an inch, and now they're going to be cutting um, eight inches out, eight, eight inch sections out, and then they're going to lower it down. And then they'll raise it a quarter inch, and then lower it down again. So. We won't see too much until they actually lower. It's about 12.30 now and they're lowering the first eight inches.